This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. Uh, I hope you're well, I hope you're staying safe and keeping your families safe during this terrible time. Um, today I'm going to talk about the Home Office's uh, uh, policy uh, or proposed policy to send asylum seekers um, to some foreign country to have their cases processed. This seems to be another one of Pretty Patel's hopeless schemes, which is being uh, resurrected probably to cover up the fact that there's other Home Office failings, such as the shutting of one of the COVID concentration camps due to the poor conditions and the outbreak of COVID there. Um, Priti Patel has announced, or it's apparently announced, that there's renewed plans to send asylum seekers who arrive in the United Kingdom to have their claims processed abroad. Copying the Australian system is understood. Uh, the question I would ask is, 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 is again, is Pretty Patel just listening to Nigel Farage or, or Boris Johnson? She certainly doesn't seem to listen to the British public um, who aren't so bothered with immigration and, and, and don't really consider it a proper issue. As to the plans, and, and laughable as they are, um, I will go through them. Um, uh, the, the plan is essentially that people have their claims processed somewhere else, i.e. so they don't get into the UK. There are two major problems with this. Firstly, how it will actually work, and more importantly, if people are sent to 800 miles away uh, to an island in the middle of the Atlantic, how are they going to get proper legal advice, which is vital for asylum seekers and is pretty much enshrined in law. This is my major worry. Often the people that, 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 that come here are the most vulnerable and the ones that need protection. Some of them indeed have been trafficked or sold as slaves. They need proper legal advice, not a telephone call um, from a, a legal aid lawyer who's overworked. Uh, and I cannot believe that the Home Office will be uh, paying for lawyers to travel to the middle of the Atlantic and housing them so that they can properly take instructions. Um, the last time that I think the British government exiled someone to the middle of the Atlantic, it was Napoleon. Um, mind you, there was a pretty good reason for this. Uh, he pretty much created 20 years of warfare across Europe. Um, as opposed to asylum seekers who are fleeing wars. Wars that have been created in part, some would say, in Iraq and Afghanistan uh, and Syria to some degree, uh, by the US uh, and British governments and their interference. Uh, previously, um, as I mentioned, they were going to send people to a remote island in the Atlantic. Most people laughed at the, the, that crazy idea, but it seems to be coming up again. One of the problems is, is having lost the empire, it's difficult to find places to send people. The Secretary of State, while under fire for handling uh, COVID and, and detention, um, uh, is seeking again to target those that arrive illegally, as most asylum seekers do, as it's not really possible to claim asylum from abroad. The Home Office say it's to try and save lives, but this is plainly a joke. For a lot of people uh, who, who live in a war zone, um, uh, or, or, or at risk of being sold uh, as a slave in a Libyan slave market, um, uh, trying to get into the United Kingdom and claim asylum is certainly better um, uh, than being sold as a slave or, or, or blown up. However, while this has been announced, people are guessing where they can be sent. Uh, apparently the government have denied Turkey, Gibraltar, the Isle of Man or other British islands, which does leave it in a difficult uh, condition. Um, they say they're in talks with other countries, um, uh, but, but as to the exact country, it's speculation. In my view, this really leaves the, 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 the government with um, uh, the possessions held uh, under the British Indian Ocean territories in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Um, and apparently quite beautiful from the photographs. Um, if it, do, it does tend to be that the British Indian Overseas Territories, um, which are disputed their ownership, um, then I'm certainly going to be claiming asylum and going to live there for as long as possible. What would make it ironic is that the British deported all the people from uh, the British Overseas Territories, and, and there's been numerous cases about that, to Mauritius years ago for national security reasons. So it would be rather odd to be sending asylum seekers there now. Also, there's the cost. Uh, it is a huge journey uh, away to uh, that particular area of the world. Um, and it would probably be cheaper just to grant people visas and allow them to get on with their lives, work and contribute to the economy. Goodness knows the economy needs um, uh, additional work and contributions, given the amount of money the government's had to pay out due to the coronavirus pandemic 
and the hopeless handling of the pandemic by this particular government. Um, uh, I hope it would be nice if we got a new Secretary of State or, or at least she stopped opening her mouth with these stupid ideas. Um, I, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please keep tuned if you're interested in any immigration news and please subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you for watching. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.